What's going on people? So I'm a little slow to get this particular box out this time around. I was kind of tied up with going to concerts and stuff the last two days. But now, you know, I've got some time before work, so let's go ahead and see what's on in here, right? Now, usually these pro wrestling crate, crates are pretty solid. Last month was pretty good. I did like the new Jack piece in there. So let's see what this time around's going with, right? So there's one side of the crate card for you. And then flipping this around for the spoilers, there's the other side for you. Anybody that likes to see all that stuff. And now let's get that out of the way. Set this over here and get on into this thing, right? So, first and foremost, well, maybe not foremost, but first, anyway, we do have this. This is a shirt that says Moxley, and this is Purveyor of Violence. So, there you go, typical John Moxley shirt. You know, I wasn't really a huge Moxley guy or Ambrose guy, but when he came around to AEW, it's kind of like a bit of a shift there. Then I was kind of interested, you know? Still not saying I'm a super fan or whatever, but I can definitely, like, watch what he's doing nowadays without disliking him. And moving on, this one is, what does that say? I have no idea what that says. The genius, oh, okay, the genius. Larry Poffo, right? So, there you go with that. It's kind of, sometimes it's kind of hard to read these, the, the way these shirts are, you know, just font-wise or whatever. But it is what it is. So, next up we got this right here. This is gonna be a Brutus Beefcake grooming set. I'm not sure what all's in it. And let's, let's go ahead and find out, right? It might be empty. I don't know. We're going to find out together, people. It is not. There's the typical stuff that goes on inside a grooming kit. So, not bad, I guess. I mean, I'm sure somebody out there will have a use for that. Maybe carry it around or whatever. And if you ever see him pull it out, well, like, oh, you're a pro wrestling crate kind of person, huh? Up next, got some pins here, right? So, this one is going to be... Oh, the Nasty Boys, I believe. So there's that for you. Eh, I was never like a huge fan of them or anything. Oh, this one glows in the dark because it's the Chase. So that's pretty cool. Didn't notice that at first. So now I've got some Chase things. I have to put that with my Riho and random other Chase things. Up next, we got Lex Luger right here. So there's that for you. I was kind of a Lex Luger fan like years ago. I think everybody kind of was, you know, because. He's just kind of a cool dude or whatever. It kind of sucks the way things went for him over the next few years or several years or whatever. But he seems to be kind of getting better, so that's good. And then this is a card and it has something from Lanny Poffo. It says, a genius knows pro wrestling tees is seldom shooting the breeze. They're taking the locks off their mystery box unless someone misplaces the keys. So there's that. I was just listening to the Jim Cornette podcast the other day, and they were talking about how he always has a little witty rhyme for whatever reason. Kind of compared him to Max Caster, because that was what was relevant in the conversation. Anyways, The Critical Botch, the comic book. So this is what we what was talked about last week, or last month, whatever. So there's that. I was wondering what they meant when they said Critical Botch, because I'm not familiar with it. But... You know, the artwork is pretty decent, so that's cool. I have to get you guys a picture so you can see what I'm talking about. And now, last but hopefully not least, we have an autographed picture. So you get the first glimpse, and I'll turn that around. Ah, oh, it's Kurt Hawkins. Brian Meyer, excuse me. I always mess up his name. I said that before in one of the past crates where I couldn't even remember who the dude was. It's like, I look at him, I'm like, I know this man. I remember seeing him, like, multiple times, you know? But for whatever reason, his name is just not easy to remember. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Or is it anybody out there, too? So there we go, people. We did it. We've gotten through this particular crate. I gotta say, things are looking pretty decent, you know? Not, not the best one, right? But it's also not a problem. I do like that, that the Genius shirt. I like the way it's done, even though it was a little confusing at first. Maybe it's because I'm not a genius myself, so maybe that's why I kind of got the best of me. I'm not quite sure, but it doesn't really matter. Either way, we're good here, so I got a couple other reviews to knock out shoe things, because I do a lot of that around here. From me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I'm going to go knock out those other two videos. It's a Jordan 12 and a, an Air More up tempo, in case anybody cares. That's what's going to be next on the channel, other than the shorts. But anyways, for now, later people.